so I'm after my chest workout and finally after years I got injured <laughs> um I don't know I just I wanted today like this night to go to sleep at 9 p.m and wake up at 5 a.m but I don't know the air conditioner was playing with me like I lay down on my bed and my ass and balls were sweating and then I turned down one degree and then I was getting cold then I upped with one degree and then I was getting again sweaty and you know I was playing with it like I don't know till when but I felt like I slept very little this night and that's why probably I got injured today at chest I I am back to the bulk so I'm lifting heavy and you know I don't usually get injured like very rarely because I am in tune with my body and I know that uh, people who do get and how, how, how did I say it wait Oh, people that do get injured are usually not in tune with their body. They are mostly working on impulses, on emotions or on hype. And, you know, they get in, eh, eh, they get injured, you know. And for me, I've always been in tune with my body. So this is kind of exciting that I, I injured kind of my shoulder cliche with chest you know with chest days and i don't know why i'm excited about this but it didn't happen it didn't happen for such a long time it's crazy so yeah this uh, but anyway why i went to sleep at 9 p.m i realized that i'm the most focused in the morning which is true for the most people you know it, it's like scientific you know and but my perfect uh, sleep schedule now i want to go to sleep at 8 p.m at, and wake up at 4 a.m and this is like ideal to me you know because i wake up and then i do my things i eat a bigger meal i wait till like six or seven some, somewhere in between six or seven a.m and then I go to the gym and before that I do my thing, you know, I do, I work on content, I work on uh, music, I organize things. Uh, unlike after work when I'm more like, you know, it's been throughout the day and I'm more with thoughts and more tired, unlike the morning. So that's my ideal schedule, but I don't know it will if it will happen because right now I don't, yeah, draw it, draw it. Right now, I'm not alone in the house, so it's kind of difficult to fall asleep. You know, even if I try, there's noises and things. But I think it's something that even with people, I need to work on because eventually I do want to have a family and shit. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's my ideal. So... Also, the things that crossed my mind today was about hypocrites. Hypocrites, I dealt with them. So, there are, first of all, there are so many hypocrites in this world. Like, it doesn't mean that there are bad people. It's just that, I don't know, people get envy. People can envy. People can get jealous. People, I don't know what's the reason of hypocrites. But... I've always dealt with them, you know, and I think it did suppress me as an individual because I was, especially the people, I was looking up to them, like, the, when I was uh, training and they tell me, hey, why you do you train? And they tell, and I say, well, shit, I like it and I want to get big. And then like, uh, you want to get big? What the fuck? Why you do this? Like, you know, and, and then now they are juiced up. And when I had earrings also, people were like, what are you, gay? What are you, like, freak, weirdo? And then I see them with, like, either a septum or a, a ear, ear stretchers. And, I, uh, and with so many subjects in my life, like, 
I, I've listened to them, you know, because these are people who are close to me and I want to take their word as, as real, you know, as authentic. People who say you're not authentic, not authentic, and they, they do, then they do the same thing. You know, it, it makes you feel like, why are you telling me this? Like, you might feel like this, but then you are doing the same thing, you know? And I just wanted to tell to really stop listening to what people think. Like, there is critical opinion. Like, how do I say it? Uh, how do I say it? Like, crucial, critical, crucial opinion? No, no. No, I need to find the word right now in my head. Like, I'm, I'm zoned. I'm in the zone right now. So I have to focus. Ah, critical thinking? No. Anyway, I hope you get what I'm saying. But, no, it's like stuck in my head right now. Like, <laughs> it's an unsolved problem that I need to solve in my head right now. How do I say this word? Oh my God. Critical. You know, I'll just let it go, you know. I hope you get what I'm saying. And I am for it, for this critical opinion thinking, how to say it. Uh, but people who say things for you not to do and then they do it lowers you lowers your vibration lowers you as a person and as an individual and then you are not reaching what you truly are you know even if it's not necessarily authentic or real or forced or anything you know but that's how you learn how to do things and when you listen to this you just stop doing this and you just lost, you know, because it is something that you wanted to do, but because of opinions of others, you're not doing this. So stop listening to people's opinions about how to do things because so I just got out of storage in my phone, which is crazy because I have like 256 uh, gigabytes. It's crazy. So it also, I lost my train of thoughts, but what I, what I was saying is like, what I was saying, oh, the opinions and thinking of others will limit your potential, you know, because you will never know what you can do and what you are able to do. Everything takes practice. Not at first, everything comes natural. Some things might come natural at first, but most of the things will not. And if you want to do them, do them, fake them. You know, there's a saying, fake it till you make it. And if you listen to people, oh, this is that and this, you will never make it. You will never reach this ability, this skill, this success, this goal, if you keep listening. So that's what I'm learning right now. I'm realizing this. And that's pretty much it, you know. Right now I'm heading to work and uh, according to to my head, I will make music. I will show you <laughs> this. I, I, I uploaded the song to a distribution company and like I do my own mixing and mastering and I always upload it like this. And <laughs> this time I, I upload it, I write all the, you know, the the description the name to the song everything and then i hit upload and then it gives me an option listen to a part of your song with your master and listen to our master remastered part and i'm like okay then i'm playing playing and then they play there and i'm like i fucking suck i need to get better and then I'm like, I see they offer offer it for ten dollars, and I'm like, you know what? I'll fuck it. Give, take, take it, take it, and it sounds good, you know. So I realized that I need to work more on the 
mixing and mastering part because if it's an automatic mastering, oh, that I fucking suck. I mean, I'm okay, you know, but I'm not a professional. I don't have a diploma in things, which is obviously I cannot do it all. You know, I make the song, I sing, I rap, I this and that. So obviously it will not be all perfect, but that's the beauty of it, you know? So yeah, I will show you uh, today how I sounded and how they made it sound. And you know, if I don't go to other people for mastering and this contribution, contribution? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the word. Contribution company for my songs does it to me, then it's a blessing. So yeah, I'm late for work right now, kinda, but it's okay. I'm not in a rush, never be in a rush, but always do your things. So yeah, that's it. I will show you other things later. Some things on work. <sighs> so basically that's the song that I was talking to you about. And they really changed it a lot in the master like that's crazy you know it's kind of even disrespectful but I'll, I'll show you the difference that's my master and that's what they did now listen to this oh shit Honestly, now I feel like they just lo fi my song. Like they just put a low pass filter and that's it. Like That's how it sounds like, but it sounds way better. So, you know, if someone else is give you advice, like it's not even advice, it's their version, but I take it as an advice for my next songs.